when it comes to technology, um, SMBs, as I'm sure every single person on this webinar knows, they don't care about IT, they don't care about technology, they don't care about the cloud, they don't care about any of those things. There are really four things um, that, that I think SMBs care about. And this is not my study, it's a study of almost anyone who's done a research paper at SMB. And it hasn't changed in, in the 20 years that I've been involved with SMBs. And I can tell you, if you look 50 years before that, it probably hasn't changed since then as well. But you know, number one, two and three, the, the biggest pain point for SMBs is cash flow, you know, cost management. Um, followed closely by revenue growth and customers, the ability to get more customers, to drive more revenue, that, that brings that cash flow. SMBs have always been very risk averse. So you know, managing risk, keeping the lights on, it has always been really important. And that risk management has actually changed as technology has evolved. And then the last one is around employees. And I think the statement that um, you know, good employees or employees will make or break your business doesn't hold um, any more true for any other segment that, than SMB, where you know, if you bring in the wrong people and you don't have a lot of people, they will have a, a long sustained um, you know, damage to your business. So let's have a look at these as they relate to technology trends and what technology trends we're seeing in the market and, and companies like IDC are seeing in the market that address these, these priorities. So these technology trends, you can call them where people are innovating, where people are investing their, their money to innovate. But the first is around cash flow. And you know, the most obvious um, ability to influence cash flow through your technology is by infrastructure to the cloud. Right? So the cloud, by, by definition, um, doesn't mean you have to invest anything up front in terms of large capital expenditure. It's all OPEX. You pay for what you use. If you don't use something, it, you don't pay for it. It's very much like if I think back to the days of days I read about, obviously not there, but trying to um, trying to get electricity into a into a house or a power plant, you'd have to, or into a factory, sorry, you'd have to go and buy a generator, plug the generator in. And you've got that large upfront capital investment that you, you've paid for whether you use it or not. And fast forward to you know, 2021, and if I want to switch the lights on in this room, I can. And I pay for it, and then I walk out, I switch them off, I stop paying for it. I can switch the lights on in two rooms at a time if I need that capacity and I need, need two rooms to be lit up. I only pay for that. Um, but then the second, second I switch it off, you don't pay for it anymore. And you haven't paid for the grid to actually enable all that. And that's the way we think about the cloud and how it enables cash flow. Obviously, there are other things that it can enable in terms of creating the, you know, improvements to business process um, that improve cash flow. But at a, at a higher, um, higher order, it, it, it impacts it there. I'd say most SMBs want to grow revenue or customers. I mean, there, there are some... SMBs that don't, that have a small uh, customer set and they earn a good lifestyle from that and they don't want to grow. But for the most part, SMBs do want to grow. And, and one of the areas that, um, that has experienced huge growth, as Dinesh talked about earlier, is around transacting digitally. And digital transactions um, and digitalization of the economy is happening at all levels. And if you're not thinking about digitalizing your business, then you certainly should. And it's not the domain of just born in the cloud type organizations or digital native businesses selling on the web. It, it, it's becoming pervasive across almost every industry. And I'll give some examples later on. But you know, one, one example I'll talk to now is, is a customer that we have in the uh, auctioneering and valuations business. So running auctions for farm equipment and large scale equipment, which is a pretty traditional business. And they've moved that business online to actually expand um, you know, the number of people that can actually auction on, on, um, on those um, items and, and those assets. And what they found, though, is they started to hit some pretty big days. For example, there's a, there's a day called Derby Day up in Queensland. It goes for two days, um, or the Derby auction. And um, you know, they, they were still $20 million worth of assets. Things started to collapse. Systems started to go down. User experience was horrible. And by moving to you know, a, a cloud environment where they could scale up and scale down, not only did they save something like 66% on their server costs, which goes back to the first point, but they were able to actually uh, get four times more productivity through, um, or four times more, um, I guess, growth through, through each dollar that they spent. So 
Um, AI and analytics, I'm not going to talk too much because I'll give a couple of customer examples where, where we talk about that in a bit of depth, but AI and analytics, regardless of the industry you're in, over time will become pervasive as well. Um, if there's anything where we need to crunch numbers, if we need to do some analysis about ourselves or about our customers and look at trend lines and then hopefully pop something out the other side that actually gives us insight to change the offerings that we provide our customers, to change the way that we do business, to change our processes. If it can be done by a robot, it should be done by a robot. It shouldn't be sat, you know, done by somebody sitting there and trying to analyze it because all those tools are available today to help make smarter decisions and offerings for customers. So that, that'll become part of everything that we do over time. Risk management, um, you know, SMBs has historically always been somewhat risk averse. And that, that's changing a lot as, as we look at the digitization of our economy. economy um, and also as, as more businesses go to that online world. And, and while security was always something that, that kept SMBs up at night, now cybersecurity is becoming something that, that, that is a thing that, that, that's keeping them up at night as well. Um, the whole thought of losing um, your customer's data or having somebody hack that data or having somebody um, go into your systems and, 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 and move the dollars out of your bank account to somebody else, else's account, et cetera, I think it's just super scary. And, and it, it's no surprise why, if you look at some of the, we've done some studies with a company called TRA Tech Research Asia, um, that have indicated that the top two areas of um, innovation around technology where SMBs will spend over the next year will be around infrastructure to the cloud and modernizing that and also in security. So security is just huge. And then the third one, sorry, the last one around employee engagement and productivity and the trends around that, certainly trends that have been fast forwarded by, by COVID, no doubt, um, is the ability to Think of work as something that you do, not a place that you go. And I know it's not like that in every industry because some industries just can't have that mobility as it relates to um, you know, working from anywhere. But there's a, there's a new expectation that that's becoming the norm um, with the next generation. And I'll, continue, I'll, I'll cough every now and then, so I apologise. I do have a cold, <laughs> so I'll let that out. But there's an expectation that um, the great experiences that uh, you know, workers get at home in their applications are replicated and they get those same sorts of experiences when they you know, log into their work, work applications and when they do their work. And you know, there's a generation that's coming through that actually expects to be able to be as productive at home as they are in the office. And I'm not just talking about going onto a Zoom call and sharing screens and, and talking to other people online on mass in, in conference calls. I'm talking the ability to truly be able to access everything you can in the office, to truly do that in a secure manner behind the firewall that um, whilst being able to be as productive as you can from anywhere, doesn't put yourself or the business at risk. And it's becoming an expectation that you know, it will become table stakes as, as SMBs you know, fight to attract the best talent in market going forward and certainly an area of investment that we're seeing. And then the last one is around process automation. Not gonna, not gonna talk to this too much, but there are all sorts of tools out there that help you automate processes. If you do something once, you do it twice, you do it three times, automate it. They never have to do it again. It just makes so sense, so much sense. And it's just one of those things that now um, is becoming a lot more prominent in terms of what we're seeing in terms of technology usage from customers. Mm -hmm.